this is Warlord. And lately I've been asked quite a bit about silhouette lighting. So that's what we're going to take a look at. Now the way I do it is not so much lighting as it is a lack of light. So let's go ahead and set up. This is the easy part. We do not want a background except for a solid black color. Next we want to go into our lighting. And we want to change our ambient lighting to black. And you'll see just a slight decrease. Now we want to turn off our lights altogether. Now you're noticing that the silhouette effect there, but you saw what happened as soon as I got out of the grid. Or if we turn the grid off, the silhouette disappears. Now there's several ways that, that we can solve this little problem. And one of them is, of course, to go back to a 2D background that has something bright in it. So we'll let this load, and then we'll turn off the grid, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, because of the background having a light source built into it, basically, just a light color, we can see through silhouette our people. But what if that's not what you were looking for, okay? There's another way to do it, and we can use fog to do that with. So let's go ahead and turn off our background, get back to the black, go to set particle, and let's just bring simple fog in. Here we go. Now, while the fog loads, what you need to realize is with no light source, nothing can be seen unless something is highlighting it. And that's what the fog does. So what I'm doing now is playing the fog, and you can see how we're already able to see our silhouettes. Now, this is with fog in front of us. And you can toggle back and forth, uh, alternate G, I'm sorry, control G, uh, back and forth to turn on and off the grid while you're working with these. So I'm going to go ahead and move the fog back further. Now let's play and take a look. Turn the grid off. Now, they're a little plainer, the people are, because the source is behind us. Now, in order to get a different look, let's go in and use just a little bit of the HDR light. So we're going to go into Stage, Atmosphere. We certainly don't need ambient occlusion as dark as this is going to be. Turn on HDR. Turn on Tone Map. Do not worry about what Tone Map might do. It, it may actually uh, show some different colors or some funny colors. Now, move on down. And let's turn on the tune shader. Use texture color. And turn both these to black. Okay, now let's see what we have. Now as you can see, you're getting kind of a stylized look. Uh, especially with the cartoon shader added. Now something else we can do. And this is just to give you some ideas, is use water. And I use water in quite a bit of things, not just for water either. But uh, for this one, let's go ahead and look at river flow. And while it loads, you'll notice that every time we turn anything on that has to do with anything other than a black light source, it will show up. So what we see here is the actual reflection of the colors of the characters, even though there's no light source to show them. Now this is just a, another different kind of look. It can be used for a lot of different things. Now what a lot of people don't realize is that fog is actually a pretty powerful little tool in itself. What these particle effects are for most cases are spinning images or things like that for lack of a better term. And we can always come in with the particle itself and make some changes. So let's go ahead and go into the particle. And let's just change the diffuse. For right now we'll do something very simple. We'll just change it to red. And as you can see, you get a red solid background bowling around. Now let's go back to our atmosphere, let's turn off 
our tune shader. And we have basically the same thing with a sharper image. And again, what a lot of people don't realize is what you can actually do with the particle. You can substitute almost any image that's out there for this particle. And get varying effects depending on how you set it up and what lighting, what atmosphere you use. So we'll go back, turn off tone map, and this will give you an idea of what it looks like without such dramatic lighting. Now to show you what this fog can really do, I'm going to grab it again and bring it forward. And of course to see your fog, you can always turn on the boundaries. And you adjust those boundaries right here in the emit volume. But this will work for what we need for right now. So I'm going to bring this fog forward so it's more prevalent. And we're just going to play it. It takes a while for this fog to spin up. Now that's just changing out an image. And actually we need to bring it up just a little closer. So we can see it a little better. Now if you wanted again just red fog, you would just go ahead and change that to a solid red color. Probably would be best to use a gradient ramp something a gradient image that would go from a bright red to say a light orange or something in that color but i hope this just gives you an idea of how doing simple things can make something look totally different in nightclub